is Liz. Hey, mine's as well. So today we're going to be reviewing 719 Walnut Avenue's 2015 fall collection. Yes, finally! <laughs> and um, we pretty much think that these probably might be the only ones, but we're not sure just because we went to a couple of Walmarts and this is all they had. So I'm not sure if there's going to be more to added to the collection or not, but definitely if there's more added, um, we will definitely do a part. Part deuce. Exactly. So um, I wanted to start by saying that these can be purchased at Walmart. Um, right now, price point is $4.93. Whoa, what a steal! And you can <laughs> locate them in the cleaning aisle section, specifically where the Glade and Airwork products are. Do you have anything to add, Will? Um, no, um, I think that that'd be all for me. So let's get started. So this first one is Caramel Cinnamon Roll, and I want to start by saying that all these candles are three wick and they are 14 ounces. The scent description for this one is, treat yourself to this sweet blend of spicy cinnamon, rich caramel, and creamy vanilla, and I can honestly say that I get all of these scents um, from this candle. You do get, the predominant note for me is the caramel and then you get that cinnamon but it's not an overpowering cinnamon it's a really nice sweet cinnamon and you get the bakery note from the cinnamon rolls for me it's just complete yumminess what do you think will um yeah so you said it, this is a very delicious candle and as the description states uh in the in this candle you get all the three so cold sniff i can't complain it's a really good candle yeah and the thing is like when i sm sniffed it i'm like it reminds me of one of the bath and body works candles at least this the caramel sweetness of one but i can't remember right now for the life of me which one it is but it's really yummy on cold sniff um so i think on to our next one all right, this next one is a classic flannel. Based on the description of the candle, it states a clean citrus and juniper blend enriched with patchouli, sandalwood, and amber. And I guess for those who are viewing this candle, uh, you might be thinking, you saw the word flannel, oh, it might be the same as the Bath & Body Works one. No, um, we got flannel and we both uh, sniffed, you know, cold sniff and totally different. Flannel from Bath and Body Works. It's it's more on the uh, uh, the cologne uh, scent. This one, it, what you get is the as the Christian states. Um, I get the patchouli uh, and a little bit of juniper. I also get more of the wood, which will, for me will state will be the uh, sandalwood. Um, I don't get amber. I don't get that. But for me, the the three notes. Sandalwood, patchouli, and juniper, uh, juniper. This, you got something from this? Yeah, um, I'm not too keen on this candle. Um, it does, it smells like it on the goes for like in the clean or fresh category for me at least. Um, I do get the sandalwood, I do get the patchouli, I do get a slight amber, and a slight also juniper. For me, I would say it's an okay candle. At first, when I sniffed it, I'm like, oh, I liked it. But then I sniffed to see if it smelled sort of similar to Bath & Body Works flannel, and I'm like, no, it doesn't. I like the flannel from Bath & Body Works better. Um, and I guess that's it on this one. It's just really okay for me. It's yeah, it's not, okay for us. Uh, uh, for those who... I would have repurchased it again. Or yeah, for those who like that type of the, the patchouli mixed with wood, uh, yeah, this is, this is a candle for you. And you know, hopefully, if you do get it, you try it. Hopefully, you like it. Yeah, but in our case, no. Yeah. So right. let's get, let's go to the next one. So this next one is cinnamon apple cider, and the scent description is an inviting fusion of warm, crisp apple and sweet cinnamon. And guys and gals, for me, I am getting everything that it says. It does for me smell like a cinnamon apple cider. You do get the cinnamon but it is a sweet cinnamon. It's not one of those really strong, potent cinnamons. And then the mix of the apple cider, um, it's really nice combination. But I would say like for, for me, what I get, it's like first, like if you would make a candle that's only cinnamon and apple, and then the cider goes like for me, like an under, the apple cider is like undertone. Um, do you agree with me on that, Will? Yeah, I agree. Um, yes, you definitely get that sweet cinnamon, and you get the uh, the apple cider. It's uh, it, it's wonderful. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a four four candle. 
That's from 719. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, we and the type of apple it, it's like that red apple, mm -hmm. or yeah, it's not like the green apple tart. No, it's just like a sweet apple scent. Yeah, like a red delicious apple. Like a red delicious apple, exactly. Yes. So, um, on to my next one. This next candle, the return of mahogany driftwood. Um, yes, yeah, this is a return. They um, they they brought it uh, the, the first time. When was it, Liz? Yeah, I think this is the third time. Third time, mahogany Probably. driftwood. Yes, second or third time. Yeah. Right okay, up. it is a return. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, and they have the same description, which states the cologne of mahogany and cedar words are rounded with light of floral notes. Uh, we, we did a video uh, about, about this candle, so you can check it out. And basically we're gonna say the same thing. Um, you get the mahogany and you get the uh, cedar wood. Uh, I think what we remember what, what I said on, the, on the, pre the previous video is that the 719 Walnut uh, Avenue candle, the throw was medium in the, in the living room. Um, hopefully with this one, they have changed that the throw is stronger. That's what I have to say about it. But it's, it's the same. We, we, we smell, sniff, it's, it's the same. Yeah, it, um, one of the only things that I can see so far that's changed just the label. Um, yeah, that would be the only change. Um, and this one, for those that are watching our video for the first time, the best way to describe it is like it, it smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's exactly what it smells like if you're in the mall walking down and you smell Abercrombie and Fitch. This is what the candle smells like. Mm -hmm. um, it's a decent, like, like I do like the scent. Um, I know some people are a little iffy. So this candle and this scent basically it's you either like it or you don't. Yeah, um, exactly. Because yeah. it's mainly cologne type scents. Some people don't tend to like cologne scents. Yeah, but um, I have to say that it's very, very similar to mahogany uh, teakwood from Bath and Body Works. I'll put like a 95, 97% switch. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's similar to it. Yeah, so on to the next one. So this last candle is Caramel Apples. And the scent description is a perfect combination of crisp apples enrobed in a rich caramel. And for me, guys and girls, this candle is yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> you do obviously get the apples, and it is like a red delicious apple, I would say. And that's like the first, at least for me, that's the first note that you get when you sniff on cold this candle. Then a mix of that creamy caramel. It's just pure yumminess and I really, really like this one. How about you, Will? Um, there's nothing much you can say. You get the apple, you get the caramel, and what it states. You get those two, it's a very nice, nice scent. And that is it for our cold sniff uh, review of these candles. And I have to say, uh, I really like uh, mostly all of them. The one that is my least favorite is classic flannel. And because uh, the scent is, is, not, is not my type, but hey, probably burning it, and, you know, might change my mind uh, about it. But the rest of them, they smell, uh, you know, cold sniff, they smell really good, and it states exactly as a description. This, anything you want to add? Yeah, I would also, like Will said, just, I would suggest just giving it a try, like for $4.93, you really can't go wrong. And out of all the ones that we've burned, I would say that we've probably had issues with one of them so far. Um, and it's only because I think the wicks moved, but it had been the only one that we had issues with. Yeah, we, 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 have, we have several of the 719 World Avenue and just one because the wicks move. Uh, but other than that, you know, performance wise, really good. Uh, we pull, you know, all good as well. So we, we cannot complain for the price and for the performance. Yeah, you should try it out. At least try one and then hopefully you have a good experience with others. Yeah. And just like a reminder, like like I said, mentioned before, they can be purchased at Walmart in the cleaning aisle section where the Glade and Airwork products are. Um, they're slowly um, showing up on stores, so you probably might not find all of them at once. I went to one and they only had one. I went to another and they only had two. So they're slowly but surely coming in. So just be patient, we will find them. One other thing I want to say that, um, I just remember that when we did our first uh, candle review, it was July 21st, yes. two, uh, 2014, which is 
our anniversary, wedding anniversary. So today, you know, we're doing, the, we did it exactly uh, today, July 21st, 2015. It's, uh, you know, it's our wedding anniversary. So obviously we, we did our whole thing, celebrate our time, but we also uh, doing this today, just as a, uh, remember how we started this, yeah, so. you know, for, for, for the love of, of doing the videos and showing our, our experience with that. So I just wanted to mention that as well. Yeah, so. so yeah, that's right. We're celebrating Liz and, Liz and Will Less Than's first year. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Plus eight years married. Plus so. eight years married, yes. Yeah, so. so I guess that's it. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Any comments that you'd like to add, please do so and subscribe. So wishing you all many blessings, love, namaste. Bye. Bye-bye.